Hidden just beneath this rich, dense soil, you'll find sweet potatoes. It's late September and farmer Jordan Scheibel is carefully harvesting his not-so-small crop of these sweet-tasting root vegetables. This is a good plant. That's for like two pounds sweet potatoes. <laughs> Jordan owns and operates Middle Way Farm. This New England native moved to the Midwest to attend Grinnell College. Finding a love in small-scale farming, he eventually found some land and became a business owner and vegetable farmer. Today, he sells a wide variety of produce to the local farmer's market and a number of CSAs. There's a number of things about farming that really resonate with me. I really like producing a tangible product that I deliver to people and that they are actually eating and being sustained by. You know, I'm not just you know, giving someone vegetables and then they're just you know, eating them. It's like they're eating them and they're really finding joy in the food, which I think is the, the best argument for local food that I can think of, is that this is food that you will actually enjoy more. You will enjoy eating more. Sweet potatoes are synonymous with cold weather comfort food. As with winter squash, fall harvest is the time you start seeing sweet potatoes in recipe blogs and on farmer's market stands. However, it might surprise you to discover that sweet potatoes are actually native to the tropical areas of Central and South America. They thrive in hot weather, and the greatest danger to the plant is, oddly enough, cold. They do really like hot weather. I want to get them out of the ground, definitely before we have a frost. If we get a frost and that hits the plants, the damage from that frost can actually go into the tuber and cause them to taste bitter and to lose storage life. Growing your own sweet potatoes may take a few additional steps compared to your other garden vegetables. But with some time and patience, Jordan shows they can grow quite well in Iowa. This is the perfect potato. <laughs> it's like the perfect size. You can't plant sweet potatoes until the air temperatures and the soil temperatures have warmed up quite a bit. So typically it's like the first or second week of June. So it's usually the last thing that I'm planting. You have to select varieties that are shorter day. So I grow a Beauregard, which is a 90 day variety. And that means that from planting to harvest is 90 days. The vines will grow, you know, five to 10 feet long. Um, so they really will spread out. And then the other thing is that once they come out of the ground, they have to cure for seven to 10 days. They actually are very bland right out of the ground. They have no sweetness. And so that curing period is important for the skins to heal and then also for them to develop some sweetness. They will actually keep in storage for quite a long time. I actually saw someone with a sweet potato that was a year old. Um, but that's kind of the idea is that they get harvested in late September and then they get marketed October, November, December. There's sometimes you get these jumbos, like this isn't really a jumbo, but it's a fairly large sweet potato. Sweet potatoes are an interesting vegetable. Not too often can you find a tropical plant that can survive the extremes of Iowa's climate but thanks to the hard work of vegetable farmers like Jordan, we're able to enjoy this sweet local treat long into the winter months.